Hello everyone and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Big thanks to Warner Brothers for the game code and today we are playing on PC. So just to prove it to you guys. Everything's on Ultra as well. We've got ray tracing and all that good stuff turned on. And we're going to be starting a new game today. Appreciate you joining me. If you enjoyed the stream, if you enjoyed the video, do consider hitting that like button below. Subscribe if you're new and let me know your thoughts. Hogwarts Witchcraft and Wizardry. Nice little introduction letter there. But this game is set in the 1800s at Hogwarts and we're a fifth year student. And just like I did before, I think we're going to make Harry Pogger again. Of course, you can create your character. I need the glasses. And I need a scar. That's the one that I picked before. And you know what? I'm going to leave it there. That's good enough for me. First name, Harry. Second name, Pogger. There he is. And we are good to go. Strap in. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. No, oh, someone watching us. I mean, the music is amazing. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. 
Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Harry Parker can see the glow. He's special. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We did... Whoa! I mean, that just went from zero to 100 real quick. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will right you in a second. I can tap down to heal. Drink it, Harry. That's the good stuff right there. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. We're in a massive cave. That's all you need to know. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. God damn. This looks good. Nicholas, I'm playing on PC with a PS5 controller. Oh my goodness. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Big old monastery in the background. 
Let's go, Professor Fig. Where do you suppose your wife got the porky that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Jump up here. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Are you a baddie or not, essentially? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! We can select targets. Whoa. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I just blast these pots. Oh my god. Crucio! Your one works improving with every cast. No, thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm glad you noticed. Ah, up there. Bit of misdirection there. Wait, 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 wait. There's another path here. There's got to be something here. Chest. I knew it. 61 gold. What are they called in this? Is it galleons or something? We're close now. Something like it's that. Just ahead. Galleons? I can't remember. Steady yourself. That was sick. Almost there. Galleons, yeah. Thank you, chap. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Now, we made it to that monastery. I mean, this definitely looks like something. Okay, so we've got the mini-map. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Looks like he's building stuff or looking at the stars, maybe. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Merlin? Could be Merlin. I know that Merlin's in the uh, Harry Potter universe. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Oh, hello. Nice bit of ray tracing there. Is he coming? Yeah, he's on his way. How odd. 
Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? I'm pretty sure that's Gringotts there. How is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Oh, I that was cool. It. it is Green Gods. Hello? Uh, just oh. a moment. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, no <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Thank you. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Now, I've been on this ride at Universal Studios. Pretty good. Uh, keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> oh, How my God. Hundreds. In fact, You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. He's a bit sus. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? 
A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Thank, Thank you. you for your help. Get in there, Harry. Thank you, Goblin. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. <laughs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Now right, we're going to learn our first spell here. I think if that red stuff catches up with me, I'm going to fail it. We did it. Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. So he can interact with this weird ancient Lumos. magic. Oh, it's quite dark. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. You can't disapparate out of Gringotts for some reason. see something up ahead what is it that glow again but on the floor Lumos. what happened when I moved towards the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir I'm fine you seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. What the hell? Cast Revelio again? Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the oh, floor. He can see it now. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. You've acquired the one lightning charm, Lumos. Lumos. Well Whoa, done. look at that. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Look out! Potato! 
We got some bodies. Now, Professor Fig is dangerous. Right, it's time for some one combat. Look at this. Whoa, there's loads. Reveal the way forward. So that's a bit of a parry. That's cool. Awesome effect, I love that. Did we get them all? Stay close. Professor, Professor Fig, Luma, Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm on my own now. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. More statues on the ground. Lumos. You do Revelio first? I suppose I'm on my own this time. There's three. Oh, there's a chest over there. Lumos. So I'm gonna line these up then. Here? It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna to have to fight my way out of here. One B three, let's do it. I don't have any of the spells right now. Old triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy. That's cool. So I can send a stun back kind of thing. Come on then, let's test it. Oh yes, that's really useful. Oh, it'll send it back at other enemies too, not the one that attacks me. Stuns them and it does a little bit of damage. Is there just one left? Oh. <laughs> Banishing these fools. Lumos. Follow the lights again. What is that? Uh, there you 
are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. Oh my god. I have no patience for traitors. You straight up murdered him. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. That was a really fun intro. Enjoyed that a lot. sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of secret course. thank you ready for the sorting ceremony Oh, snap. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I think that's Simon Pegg's character. You wouldn't know it was him though. Oh snap. It's the Grand Hall. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Do I get to pick, or does it choose for me? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. So I think my choices will define what house it puts me in. I feel like exploring is more fun than classes. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm... I detect something in you. 
<laughs> a certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Oh. <laughs> I've got a sense of adventure, you know? I'm going to go with daring. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. What? Gryffindor! Accept. Choose a different house. So I can choose if I want, but I feel like I should just accept. Then is that is what it put me in. Better be Gryffindor! Harry Potter belongs in Gryffindor, really, doesn't he? Look at him. Oh, nice cape physics there. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. No! Oh, come on! DLC. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. He wants us to go, basically. That's what he's saying. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Milady. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I mean, he's just been through a lot. I hope you had a good night's sleep. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Well, this is my dormitory. Puddlemere United, Appleby Arrows. They're different Quidditch teams. Hello. Is that an interesting ah, wall? Which way is the common room? Can I search that? Level one lock. I'm going to need a lower more for that. I'm literally right here. You're talking about me. Not cool. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food. Like that poor man from the ministry. I can't imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. What's that? <laughs> what the hell? Professor catches it this time. So 
Oh, perhaps I should. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh! oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. The name's this Harry Potter. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Am I his protege? Uh... I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little bit. Learned a few arrived. tricks, you know? Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Oh, I can just... <laughs> I can just roast her if I want. Don't worry. You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. I wonder if there's going to be multiple endings in this based on what i choose because i know they've said about like choosing the dark arts more and going down that path rather than the light is it really that difficult to cast them verbally oh yes and if you don't get it just right the results can be shall we say awkward once i tried to cast depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the great hall and ended up launching professor sharp's yorkshire pudding into his face <gasps> He was not happy. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings are overpowered. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Bit of gravy. Oh. Give it a spin. What's going on here then? That looks Girl, dangerous. Get away with Daddy. She gets bolder every year. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful hello to there. change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Dragon, yeah, it was true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What are people saying about my travels here? Have you ever encountered a dragon? I imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Uh, we're, <laughs> we're here playing Hogwarts Legacy. She's out here playing Assassin's Creed. There's an absolute mad lad over here. Look, this mad lad. He's got the butter beer. It'll be the next butter beer. Sure, you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Figs. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Hmm. Does having your aunt here make things difficult? More than you'd think. Most people assume I can't get into trouble or be given detention. But they're wrong. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to oh, be honest. No. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. What's in your mug? 
are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Cheers, mate. New I've had a butter beer. Professor Weasley's waiting. It's delicious. Common room. It's kind of like cream soda, caramel. It's weird. Just gonna eat some random apples, are you? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? GCSEs. Yes, yes. Your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. A casual ghost? Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Well, it seems a bit dangerous. This way. Stop spying on me, dude. You opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. That's so shiny. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. What the hell? The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it and... Revelio. That's a terrible fate. Portrait of Barufio. Portrait depicts the wizard Barufio, famed for his brain elixir, and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken. <laughs> it's very unusual. Open the field guide. Oh baby. You can see challenges. Field guide pages. So I think there's just a ton of these around Hogwarts. And the surrounding area. And if we do the challenges, we get unlocks. Rewards must be claimed. Okay. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. She just walk Inside through. <laughs> walk through them. <laughs> it's magic, you know. She's a witch. A cat. That's a different cat than the one I saw when I played the game before. No time to waste. Your glasses. I just, end. Professor Weasley. I'm just, you know, I'm just giving the cat some love. I bet there's an achievement to stroke all the cats. Timing. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. It's fast travel. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Oh. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. Select the south wing. You can see the flue flames. Okay, that's how you fast travel around if you want to. Select the library annex region. Well, she's unlocked that one. We'll zoom over there. Blue flames always seemed really dangerous to me. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as oh, possible snap. to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. I mean, I do want to learn about Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Hmm. He told me not to tell anyone. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Just teach me a Vada Kedavra already. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? <laughs> I didn't like to lie to her. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Yield. Okay. So the yellow ones are the main quests. Certain quests are locked by spell or level requirements. You've got to learn other things first before you can do them. Tracker quest. Charms class. Defense against the Dark Arts class. So we get Levioso for that. And Accio for that. We'll do the defense against the Dark Arts first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. Oh. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information. We get to go to Ollivander's. Mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. And rubbing his hands together. A floating piece of paper there. And we're outside. That a hippogriff. Better not be bug big. Maybe it is. What the hell? good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. No. She was using cheats. I think she had a name bot or something. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt, no? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. It's Levio Sar. Levioso. So Levioso just makes things float. Wingardium Levioso makes things float yeah. and then you can move Let's them. Let's try something a little larger.
1v1. It's just a dummy. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. We're gonna Remember, break through his defense. A surprised opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, the basic is well done. Combo. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. Protego. I mean, I'm going to absolutely school this kid. Look at him. Look at him. Levioso, you swallow. I know. Sebastian Swallow. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This Protego. Let me Let's just say I'm a quick lesson. Oh, my students are this adept. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> it's got to be painful. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Let's go, baby. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Let's Glad go. To have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark, dark wizards, wizards, or as are more likely, <laughs> goblins, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. She thinks All that she's safe. Right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. She thinks she's safe. She's not safe. Oh, it's you again. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Was that a nice burn? Work. I enjoyed that. I think she just burned me. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to lie to him. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. I didn't mean it like that. But fair enough. No. You owe me an honest duel. No. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive unsanctioned dueling organization hmm exclusive and unsanctioned count me in excellent knew i was right about you if you want to get the most out of your time at hogwarts you're going to need to break the rules now and then whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library you just have to be clever enough not to get caught Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. I am interested. Till next time. Till next time. You dueled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Uh, Jake asked in the chat, is there an FOV slider on PC? So I think there is. If we go to settings here. Is it in display? Field of view. So you can change the field of view. I've just left the default one on. All these students just hanging out. Go to charms class. Oh man. 
Man, this is massive, isn't it? Is a cat down here? Yeah. There was a cat here in the preview event. It was ginger, though. Now it's black. It's got, it's got to be an achievement. It's got to be. <laughs> okay. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Where's Anyone? Hermione? Anyone? Hermione? Mm -hmm. oh, she's not uh, born uh, yet. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Oh, I'm getting PTSD now. now. Let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Accio, isn't it? Yeah, Accio. Give it to me. Accio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. This dude is crazy. I suppose you'd have to be to be a professor at Hogwarts, wouldn't you? A little bit crazy, at least. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Friendly chirping. Right. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Akio, now uh, think of this. That's it. So you got to get the balls in a scoring position without them falling off. 
violent control there. Very good. How you like that? How you like them apples, Professor? Very good. Points to Gryffindor. You're goddamn right. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. No 1v1. You She's got the red ones. Just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. She go first? Yeah, she's go first. Oh, okay. So can I knock her ball off? If I if I'm like here. And then I do. Oh damn it! I let go too early. Why are you so good at this? Oh, I'm gonna get her now. That one. No, you're kidding me. Don't you dare knock mine off. Oh my god. Wait, what if I... Uh, this is a bit risky. I'm going to try and hit mine and then knock hers off. But then mine might... <sighs> mine might knock off as well. Do not think I will start going easy. Here. No! A perfect score. Remarkable. It's tied. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with the tie. I should have beat her, man. Let Damn it. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What do you mean, make it more interesting? You could... <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <sighs> it's full, guys, then. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Get knocked off. Get knocked off. No. I'm just going to go hard. I'm just going to go hard. I'm going to wait for that one to come across. There we go. That's it. Even? Even Stevens? Oh, you idiot. No, wait, 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 wait. That just got velocity out of nowhere. That's not how physics work. That's not how physics work. Oh, it's a bit heavy handed. Oh, right on the money. Right on the money. Right, what you got, lady? What you got? Get knocked off. Get knocked off. Yes. No. Okay. Right, if I get mine in 50 now, I've won. There we go. I've got to I've got to thread the needle here. I've got to really thread the needle. Okay. Excellent control. Did it go over? No, it's right on the edge. Oh, we won. We won anyway. That's fine. Oh my goodness. Good. Very good, both of you. Well done. No way I was losing. No way. I'm a powerful wizard. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. I don't think she's hacking, chat. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. You're goddamn took right. Took weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. 
It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I don't want to be ego wizard, you I know? I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu like a different wizarding school? Is magic the same? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. That's interesting. You can just you can just burn her and say, well, the magic's weaker then, surely. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. What does it look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that that's seemed cool. to be floating in midair. <clears throat> oh, that's something they could do as DLC as well. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Uh, well, of course, yeah. You can I want to be the wizard that's like a dark wizard so and really powerful well, and doesn't care about using unforgivable curses, but at the same time, you know, he's, he's a nice guy. He'll look after you. A wolf in sheep's clothing. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. A special assignment? And what is it? After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes, and? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. There's a chest icon on the map there, but I don't... See where it could be unless it's above. A beginner's guide it's another cat. Adventure, are we? That's a that's the third cat now, guys. That one looks like a Bengal kind of coat on it. Meow. Meow. Are they playing chess? Another one. Is there a photo mode? I don't think so, NASA. I don't think there is. Who the hell is that? In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong. The verdict over. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots, and it wasn't flack. Side quests are now available. 
Weasley after class. I think there's a flu flame there that we can go to. That one. Oh no, that's right next to us. So we might as well just run to that. Hang on, I'm going to look at the... Can I see the world? I can't see the world map yet. Oh, Hogwarts map. Is that Hogsmeade? Oh, there's the world map. Wow. I know someone in chat was asking to see it. Okay, that's pretty big. What the hell? Oh, it keeps going. I don't know if that's Merlin or someone. Someone important, maybe. Three-headed dog. There's a three-headed dog in the second movie, isn't there? Called Fluffy. Hagrid's, I think. Or something that I could reveal there. Revelio. Augury skeleton. Skeleton of an Irish phoenix. I wonder if we're going to get phoenix in the game. I've seen that there are some mounts that you can get, like the hippogriff, for example. Okay, so we just unlocked that fast travel there. Oh, that chest is below. Cat. Number five. One of them is going to speak to me. As you, there is a spell that lets you transform into animals in the Harry Potter lore. Dobby. What about the room, it's not Dobby, it's Deke. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Hmm. I don't think I should lie to her again. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade yes. I mentioned earlier, Take me there. we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the That's what I want. wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I'd have talked to other people more, would I have different options here? Sebastian's the guy that I beat in the duel. Natty's the one that I just met in chance class. I'll go with Sebastian. 
I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yes, ma'am. I can't wait to get a wand. I think you can actually customize it too. Mending Charm Repairer. Wait, 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 wait. That's a cat. That's a different cat. That's cat number six, I think. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Man's got me running around doing errands. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Chat, I hope that you're learning these spells. So this one's going to be Accio to pull it towards me. Accio. Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Oh, this has changed. Different buttons now. It's a longer one. Reparo. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. Hermione does Oculus Reparo, doesn't she? On Harry's glasses in the first movie. Or the, in the book. Reparo. So it doesn't matter if you break things in this. <laughs> you just repair everything. What is she screaming at? What happened? Did someone jump? Was it a dragon? Revelio. I love that little musical sting it does. Okay, I've got a head down here. Ancient magic throw. Ancient magic. I mean, that sounds like a good reward. That's what I want. I want the dark stuff, you know? Give me the dark stuff.
Jack, go swimming. I mean, you can swim in the game. So I've got to get another four of those flying around somewhere. It's about time. Did that butter churn just move? Oh, wow. Look at this place. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's go. Why did I pick Gryffindor? I didn't. I chose some dialogue options and it put me in Gryffindor and I decided that I would go with what it picked for me. You can choose the house though if you want. Well there's a the Quidditch pitch over there. Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. I recognize that guy's voice. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. He's a naughty boy. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me. And I was flying able water to in pot. Old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So, how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Lacewing flies? What the? What the hell? I didn't say you could do that. Some kind of weird structure down there, look. That'll be a puzzle. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest, look. What's going on? See for yourself. Big Griffs. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly the big owl. every day. Oh my god. Poppy's already seen the Hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Look at this. I can't wait till I get my broom and I can just fly around everywhere. I think you can go. Well, the developers said in a video I watched, they said that you can go anywhere you, you can see. A chance to explore the castle. A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now. Oh, please do, Sebastian. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I fought some weird statues under the ground. 
in a secret place. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Moonstone. Minor detour for the cat. Harris, it is real. What, you didn't think this was real? What, the game or the trailers? What? Someone was asking what engine this is on Mr. as well. Moon. I think it's Unreal Engine He's 4. Watch caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. All right, mate. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is he drunk? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Oh, he's quite drunk. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh, there's something dodgy about this guy. All right, we made it to Hogsmeade. Let's go. Oh, my God. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Hog's head's down there. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town. I don't trust him finished. at all. I don't trust him. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade Village is brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate. It does have its own map. Bladrag's Wizardware. Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. So that's where I can change my hairstyle if I want to. Ollivander's. Sporting needs. Tomes and scrolls. Hog's head. Jay Pippin's potions. Brood and pet. Beast. Oh yeah, so there's... When you get to the room of requirement, I think you can have beasts in there. You know, like in the Fantastic Beasts, and you can look after them and stuff. Honey Dukes. Honey Dukes is uh, confectionery, I think. Sweets. I'm intrigued. I, I want to go and see what's in there. Zonko's. The fireworks shop. Oh, I can go in here. Okay. Musical balloons. Can I, can I blast it? That's it. Dude, he just tried to send text me. Tempest in a bottle. A bewildering kind of mystery. Oh, baited. Don't push. Well, I've got to push that. There 
the hell? Is that a Niffler? I wonder if there'll be a quest in here later. Maybe. Honey Jukes. So again, I've been in this shop in real life. At Universal Studios. At the Wizarding World. There's all sorts of different sweets and stuff in here. Caractacus, the Candy Conjurer. Give me some candy. What the hell? I'm just gonna eat that. You can't just go around eating everything, Harry Potter. Oh God. Does that make me float? Delicious. Gingerbread. Oh no. Apparently those turn you into animals. Pretty sure that's the prison of Azkaban, that. Don't know what that was. Revelio. Exploding bonbons. I yeah, bet those as well. Oh, there's something back there, look. Locked. Hmm, okay, so you can definitely come back in here. Might be a quest or something. Pepper imps. Oh my god. That just turns you into a dragon. <laughs> Okay, I need to visit Ollivanders and we'll go get a wand down there. I'll give Zonko's like a uh, two out of five. Honey juice is a lot better. Merlin, blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Swish hmm. and flick. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 
goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Not a good choice. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. The green one? Yeah, the green one. Yeah. In that green one. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. He seems quite keen to give me that. Oh, snap. Oh, we can customize it. One style. How intriguing. Ash brown. Honey brown. I quite like the ringed one. Curious indeed. Or oh, just a classic. Oh, you've got different variations of it. You can change the wood type on it. Curious indeed. The length as well. Flexibility. I think you want a you want like a, a rigid one, don't you? But you want a little bit of give in it. How intriguing. You can pick what the core is. Dragon Heartstring. The core of a one known for producing powerful magic. Consistent magic for the unicorn. Or the phoenix feather. A great range of magic. I'm going to go power. I'm going to go dragon. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm. Maybe I prefer the classic. Go for a dark classic one. What do you think? A dark one for a dark wizard. Pretty OP. That's the meta build right there. Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I wonder if his dialogue changes depending on what you pick. I'm just going to... Oh! Wait, I've completely... I haven't even looked at that, have I? The gear. Handwear. I've got some black gloves. Oh, okay. Okay. Facewear. I mean, I've, I'm just going to keep my Harry Potter glasses on the entire time. Is that a Peaky Blinders flat cap? Yeah, I don't know about that. Neckwear. Why can I not wear that? That gives me offense. So, it, okay, it affects your stats. Yeah, I can't wear that. I think that's level lock to level four. Take it off. Oh, Wizard's always going to have his robe. Talents are locked at the moment. I know somebody in chat asked about that. Okay, right. I've got to... 
You appear to be stuck, sir. Didn't work. I've got to go and visit these three places here. Homes and scrolls, was it? That was one of them, I think. You're in a rush. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. I like this guy. He seems cool. Let's look at what we have, shall we? So these are the supplies that we need for the quest. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Someone in my chat just said that there's people streaming my gameplay on Twitch and pretending they're playing. <laughs> That's so funny. Go ahead, guys. I don't mind. Okay, I've got to go up here and then... Is that the last one? The Magic Neep. Now, you could spend hours in this place just exploring. I didn't realise how... Hogsmeade was going to be this huge area. J. Pippin's potions. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> nice to meet you. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though I don't believe I've seen your face here before either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? So these are the buffs that you can what use can in I combat, I today? think. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. There's all sorts of crafting and potions you can get. Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. That's health. Creates a storm around the drinker, which stuns nearby enemies. It's quite a lot of depth to the combat. Rebellion.
established in 1753. Can I just steal what's in this chest? Oh, a hello. That looks good. Distinguished school robe. Plus four offense as well. Oh, oh, it's got the red and gold trim. Looking like Iron Man out in Hogwarts. Okay, a magic knee. Was it up there? I feel like it was over to the north. I'm gonna try and get that. Across the bridge. I don't know, this might be the wrong way. I'm just gonna check the map. Yeah, so I do have to go across the bridge. I, mean, I might as well go across here, right? Look at these giant pumpkins. Oh, it's a shaggy cow. That cow is absolutely hench. I want a 1v1 that. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? That's what I'm Let here for. Guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty do have a look around. Pique your interest, I'd wager. He sounds oh, like he's from everything. Bolton. Better go and find Sebastian. That's Peter K. Before he became a comedian, he was a farmer and a shopkeeper. Oh, let me also. Wait, that was the wrong spell. Accio. Right, what has Sebastian been up to? Doesn't seem to care. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Throw! Throw in the dungeon! We're gonna have to fight this thing? Okay. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Oh my god, Sebastian, watch out. Let me 
He just doesn't seem to be affected by these spells at all. Wow. R1. Oh. Okay, right. Now we know. I can throw things at him now. Have a bit of that, mate. On your head. Whoa. Smash. Bit of that ancient magic. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, you got it. Dodge the red ones. Got him. Ancient magic. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's sick. Give me some of that ancient magic. That's what I want. That's what I really want. Control. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. No problem. Oh, she's gone. Okay, um... It's Repero, isn't it, for this? There's simply no consequences in the wizarding world. If he breaks something, Repero. Put it back together. Is someone trying to mail a cat? I'm not sure I agree with that. Look, you can just put a house back together, watch. That's a cool effect. Repair her. For Officer Singer to worry about. I'm glad that Honey Dukes wasn't damaged. Rebellion. This thing. Repairer. I didn't even see this. The statue of a wizard. There's a chest in here. I'm gonna go in there. Rebellion. Two cats. How do I get back there? There's a big chest. Look at this. Three cats. Something unusual going on here. They're up to something. Scrivenchaff cats. They're enticed by the feathers, are they? Rebellion. I think it's outside. Oh, it's going to annoy me. Unless I can just go around the back. There it is. That's not a normal chest. Why is he looking at me? <laughs> Hello. Uh No, he doesn't doesn't seem to care. That must be a spell that you learn at some point. Akio. Okay, I've got to go this way. Oh, nice. Got fast travel. 
Well, yeah, I wouldn't be able to fast travel anywhere, would I? Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? You're gonna give me a special robe. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. That's a fence five. Oh look, they've got like rarities: purple, gold, seven offense. They've got traits. There's gear slots on. What? There's gear slots on the clothing. That's pretty cool. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. Three broomsticks is just this way. Is butterbeer alcoholic? Most welcome to peruse my shop at your You're damn right, I'm gonna peruse, and by that, I'm gonna steal Oh, it's one of these weird chests again. It must be a spell. Let's take this basic chest. Scarf. Oh, it's blue. Defense 4, Defense 5. But you see, that's got upgrades on it. And it looks like it's got a slot on it, too. Wear that one for now. This is cool. You can get Butterbeer ice cream at Universal Studios. I don't know if you can get an alcoholic one though. Maybe you Assuming can. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Accio. Oh, it's that dodgy bloke with the top hat again. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. <sighs> Gonna be some beef. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Well, they all stare at me. Now, what can I... Give me that butter beer. Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. 
Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, Here he is. How timely. Is ray tracing gone? Yeah, it is. Everything's maxed out. Look, I saw leaving just now. Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. I could. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Is it night time? Oh, it just changed the night. That's cool. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. You must return to your common room. Do I... Wait. No, no, no. I don't think I have to go back. I can just... I can explore if I want. Like, you can go around at night time. When do I get the broomstick chat? When do I get the broom? That's not the right way. I've just walked. <laughs> I've just walked into someone's door. I've got mail. What? what? GTA is it? Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Okay. Owl post. I guess they didn't have mobile phones in the 1800s. <laughs> so they just used Alpost. Ah, that's the one from the start. I need to learn a spell to unlock that. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I tried doing my work. Peasy has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. What a good day. I don't like that ghost.
I wonder if Peeves was in the books. I don't remember Peeves in the movies. Beautiful. Lovely tune there. speaks in rhyme he was in the books okay people are saying that peace was in the books i've only ever read the first and second book so i wouldn't know unless he was in the first and second book and i don't remember i think i was only like 10 when the books came out someone asked if you could turn the hood off I'm not sure. I don't see it anywhere. Accessibility? Oh, you can turn the camera shake down if you don't like that. Mini map size. You can be left handed. Oh, that's a control scheme. No, I don't think you can. I suppose you could take the transparency down a bit, though. Oh, this is Professor Fig's office. This looks like <sighs> Kenneth Branagh's character. Is it Gil Gildroy Lockhart or something like that? He's left me a little note. Professor. I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Gonna be learning some defensive spells. Yeah, I don't know what that was about when he was on the floor. I think you have to wait for certain times of the day to do specific quests. So it just, I guess he just slept there for a bit. <laughs> hmm. 
Mmm, comfy floor. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Nice to see you too. Professor Hecket. Have I met Professor Hecket? Wow. Oh, hello. Some kind soul help me. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. That sounds like a terrible game. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odours. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. She's a bit big-headed. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. That's not Luna Lovegood, chat. Do you have any suggestions? It just sounds a bit like her. Down from their hiding spots. If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Also, she's not Irish. I'm pretty sure Luna Lovegood's Irish. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. It sounds more like Moaning Myrtle to me, that. I have met her. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, yes. the fire-making spell. Yes. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, and setting people on fire. Defending against those who would wish to do us harm. It's not a defensive spell. Sounds versatile. Let's be honest. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Win two rounds of cross wands. Complete a round of spell combination practice see, with Luke and Brattlebeer. Isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Yeah, so Professor Hecate knows about the little dueling club that they have. Going to the clock tower, I believe. Are you starting to learn the layout of this place, chat? It's cool that you can run around and there's no loading unless you fast travel. <sighs> All these doors that are locked. Out of order. So what is it? All the secrets behind the walls. I'm a, I just simply have to know everything. Oh, that's the wrong way. You. I mean, listen, let's be real chat. If you were a student at this school... You'd be so fit. 
The amount of walking and stairs. Glad you can make it. Lucan's just over there. What's that? Is that a Levi... Accio. Leviosa? Ah. I knew I could do something with that. Can I help you? I mean, is that a first year? Running his own fight club? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. You goddamn right I did. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing... I'll take anyone. I'll take place. anyone on. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Yeah, let's go. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in crossed ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? I don't see a ring, but I'm ready. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! I'm Peppa Pig! I'm at Hogwarts! We'll make you regret signing up. Astoria Cricket, you're gonna you're gonna go down. Right. Have a crate on your head. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Didn't even touch me. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. I want to go again. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. Yeah, uh, let's go. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Let's go. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Pepper, put me in. Hope to see you back here again. I'm literally here. Let's go. Round two. What? Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Okay, he goes over there, and now I can sort him. Training dummy. So I have to do this for my Hello, quest. Lincoln. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Oh wait. Actually, I think I, I, might come back later. I picked the wrong thing there, didn't I? I'll be around when you're ready. So I've got to do the combination practice rather than the dummy, I think. Oh no, that was right. Sorry. My apologies, Hello, chat. Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. So we'll do some combos here. It wants me to start with Akio. Akio. Basic, 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 basic. And Levioso? Levioso. Oh, you can juggle your enemies. Nicely done. Levioso. Levioso. Basic, basic, basic. Accio. Good. Excellent four. I'd say 
that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Cheers, Thank boss. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling, dueling with, a with a partner? No. I'll be dueling solo. No, 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 then no. Let's get to it. I'll, ta I'll take anyone on. Ready to get thrashed? Constance. Apologies in advance. Hector. You're all gonna die. Oh, didn't parry that one. Act like a winner. I'm a dark wizard. I do what I like. Right, one left. Come on. Come on. Who wants some? Bravo. Feels good I to be a gangster. Well. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. I'm gonna come back here with the incendio. All the gobstones, so to speak. There's gonna be some Expelliarmus as well. Remember the name, Harry Pogger. Gangster wizard. You want some? You want some of this? Take anyone. I've got the 13 inch dragon core. I do believe she's up here. Now teach me incendio. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Incendio. Time to burn. Spell selection menu. Oh, you've got to swap them out now. Good work. All to assign R2. Um. Repairo, maybe? Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I think it is? It is. Avada Kedavra. Kills enemies instantly. What, like bosses? I mean, 
you, surely you can't just one bang everything. Crucio, Imperio, Transfiguration. Wingardium Leviosa. I'm going to move things around with that. That's the invisibility one. Blue Moss have that already. What's this? Bombarda. The shotgun blast. That's a disarm, isn't it? Expelliarmus. Defindo. Slashes. Confringo. Long range bolt. That's the force push from Star Wars. Force down. Dependo. I can transform things as well. Glacius. Turn things into glass. Control them. Slows them down. This is sick, man. There's so much stuff in this game. Incendio. Getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. You think me so foolish? Incendio! She's got magic protection. She can't can't damage her, you say. It's illegal to attack teachers in Hogwarts, not allowed. Harry apparently completed this game last year. So easy. Well, wow. Harry can time travel. Did you play it on the Xbox 720? You look important. Who are you? Revelio. Hmm. Suspicious. Ah, there you are. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Heckard. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. He's not happy. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. He's got very nice teeth. We have to go talk to Sebastian. Into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. I bet Sebastian teaches me the invisibility spell. And we can go sneaking. There he is. I like that painting. Hey, it's me. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. Sebastian, I don't so, know. 
Why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. He's a confident Slytherin. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Is he going to lead me astray, though, chat? See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. There wouldn't be any point in needing an invisibility cloak in the movie if you could just learn a spell. And Harry has one, doesn't he? It was passed down to him. Avoid being detected in off-limit areas. So I've got to equip that now. That one there. We'll put that instead of Lumos. All right. Let's go. We must remain unseen. Be very, very quiet then. Don't make any noise. Um, if I can see you, the prefects might be able to as well. Be careful. So the painting can see me. It's just a trick of the light. That's all it is. Nobody here. still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be alright. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. So he's gonna go distract. The key. Here it is. You go away, lady. Peeves. Yep, it's Peeves. Sneaky beaky. Are we going in loud or are we going in sneaky oh, beaky like? Look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Robo 6. Going dark. I can distract, can I? Okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. That's kind of creepy that they just have ghosts as security guards floating around.
should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. Quietly now. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Revelio! As Merlin knows, everyone else has given up. Why do you think we find a cure? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blazes to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Spin the globe. The hand in a box. Who have we here? No! Surprise, you can do it! New little friend out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to tell. I actually hate that guy. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. So some people were suggesting in chat that if I use the invisibility spell in front of that chest, maybe I'll be able to open it. It was back here, wasn't it? This one here. I don't know if this is going to work, but I will try. Why should you use repair on this broken arm? You were right. Good job. But because it can't see you, you can interact with it. So that means that I could go back and open the one in Hogsmeade now, if I wanted to. Uh, repair -o. The troll armor or something? Dragon eyed spectacles. Oh. We're going down, down in the deep, dark dungeons. Of course, traces of ancient magic. That's it. That's a big chest. A renaissance cap. It's orange. Or gold. Let me just check my gear before I go in here. I feel like this is some kind of like dungeon or boss battle coming up. Plus 10 defense. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with those. I think you can transmogify things as well. I believe I read that somewhere. Oh, I'm looking fine now. Ooh. A stylish wizard never reveals his secrets. Did I get a different scarf? Yeah, it's not as good though, is it? Right, in we go. This lead. We got a new look. Falling out of control right now. 
Oh my god. Some kind of a dungeon. I have to hit that maybe? Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Oh, you want to go? Okay. Ancient magic time. I'm Thor. One of it. How about that? I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna set you on fire. Oh yeah. Whoa. Vanquish them to the Shadow Realm. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Did I get a wand? Wand handle. Does that just change how it looks then? Maybe the wand handles actually have effects on them too at some point. Hello. The other one had got knocked off. There's a chest there. How do I get that? Hmm. Maybe I can learn a spell at some point. Maybe that's like Wingardium Leviosa or something. Whoa. Oh man, that was close. Are you, tro are you trolling me? Well, that's just so you can get back. This must be the way forward, but to where? Across there, obviously. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Silver four-eyed spectacles. Unbeatable Quidditch gloves. Oh, this is so cool. And that just instantly kills him. Charge at me? No, there's no repairing to be done. Potato. Stupid. Accio. 
in Sabu. Oh, I missed that. Wow. That is so sick. I love that finisher. It is a book after all. Yeah, the combat system is really fun. Look at my stupid glasses. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Ancient magic goes back a long way. 
Sebastian. I need to get new glasses. Sneaking in the restricted section again. I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> I actually hate that ghost so much. So, so much. But he didn't sell me. I thought he was going to sell me out. Maybe that's because I've actually done stuff with him, you know? He's my friend kind of thing. Perhaps that outcome would have been different if I hadn't have done that quest with him earlier. Yeah, I will have my revenge on that ghost. I promise, chat. In this life or the next... The ghost will be slain. If I end up dying and being a ghost, I'm going to hunt him down in Ghostland and assassinate him. Bit of a trust mechanic, maybe, with Sebastian. Who's that? You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. But who? Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. We didn't see George die at the start, so... Yeah, he might not be dead. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? 
I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Don't neglect your friends. Halfway to level eight. What are those other glasses that I just got? Oh, they're way better. They look better as well. Do they? My, my man's got like... <laughs> transparent blinders on. I got some Quidditch gloves too, didn't I? Look at that. Level seven. Okay, he mentioned something about potions. Potion seller. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Oh. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Yes, ma'am. So she wants to meet me outside. Lower Hogsfield. Okay. As you explore, you'll remove fog and reveal more of the map. Hamlets, dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Okay, I feel like I should go and do the... the final round of cross ones. Some kind of appearance that I can get from that too. Travel over there. How good it is. Ryan, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's very, very good so far. Very polished. Future champion coming through. Nice to see you. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? <sighs> I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. I mean, I might regret that decision, but we'll see. We can make this a real victory. No, That's I like these guys. The one before then. All right. No, I don't want to repair anything. Trying to use Leviosa on me twice in a row. Accio. 
There goes my way. Accio. Do it. Ow. Burn. I'm actually learning the spells in real life. It's good. I'm turning into a Harry Potter nerd. Easy 1v4. Easy 1v4. What a victory! You've won the tournament! The wizard bully. <laughs> I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. Am I a bully, chat? A gracious champion now to the victor goes the prize and so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment thank you it's been an honor you what is it? it you are a duelist to be reckoned with give now it to me definitively crowned the tournament winner i suppose i should get back to my school work. yeah and don't tell we anyone about fight club lucan I haven't tended them in ages. We don't talk about Fight Club. Cross One's Championship Garb. Let's have a look. I bet I can't even wear it yet. Is it this? Where is it? What? How do I... Did you just scam me? Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. No, I want my outfit. Idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? <sighs> Actually, I might come out later. That's fine. Come and find me when you're ready. Did I just miss it? Like, where... Where is it? Change appearance, is that it? A dark arts robe, oh my god. Why have I got this? What the? What? What's all this? This is all new to me, guys. Is it in the collections? There it is. The championship gone. That's the one. I'm looking pretty fire right now. I have to be honest. Did you enjoy that thrashing, did you? Oh, here's the bridge. Rebellion. Still need the unlock for that. So what do they want me to do? So Natty wants to meet me outside or I've got Herbology class. Where's that on the map? All the way down here. I think this is where you get the mandrakes. 
Chatty Pogger. I like that, Prabhu. Have you ever visited any of this cannot hotel? possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. So Army. I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. It's Lumos. We have to Do catch you. Lumos. Um, that one. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around. Hello, Lenora. Could you remind me what's so special about that empty painting? It's not necessarily special, as far as I can tell. It's some sort of puzzle that I'm trying to work out. Have a look if you're of a mind. Perhaps you can spot a clue that I've missed. The thing what we have to do is go to that location. But I don't want to do that now. I want to do this herbology quest. Oh. Oh, wow. Completely different vibe. Big old greenhouse. Growing pungent onion again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. <laughs> oh, hello. He looks like a pirate. Class. Please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, Grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm Give your mandrake a firm tug. Oh god, no! No, not like this. No! Get in there! Jeez. Mandrake's got to chill. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair you guys know that fully grown mandrakes can kill people. This seems incredibly dangerous. Sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting table. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like... Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it, yeah. I couldn't help but it's catch great. your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. 
I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion. Ten minutes! As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. It's going to take ten minutes. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. I'm going to throw those cabbages so hard. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Didn't I just I'll smash you the in the wizard's jaw? Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It yeah, I did. Oh. Well. Thank you. I Here we are. Home of the Chinese. Go on. Grab now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. I'm going to toss my cabbage at you. <laughs> Have a cabbage. Oh my god. What is it? It's literally a cabbage with teeth. Horrible. Vicious little bastards Get the flamethrower. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that is Sorry? in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone. But well imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Thank you for teaching me how to throw the cabbage. Toss the cabbage. I toss that cabbage so hard. Sunlight. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. I enjoy checking in with you as well, Professor Garlic. So in six minutes, I can collect that. What's wrong with you? The best time. What are you moaning about? No, he doesn't want to talk to me. Huh? Revelio.
Potions. Got to attend potion class. I love that little Harry Potter sting there. It's good. Dobby! Dobby has a Glock Master! Dobby has loaded the Glock! I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. We're gonna brew a potion? Nah, this game's crazy, man. This this game is getting crazy. There's so much stuff in it. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Right. Strong, even motion on the right stick. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. Pinch One of dittany. Sneeze could be disastrous. Whole clump juice. Bit more. Perfection. That's a bit too much, maybe. Give it a good stir. How's it smell? How's it taste? Looking good. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, You'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from J. Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. It wasn't luck. It was a strong and even motion. Everybody saw it. Collect Ashwinder eggs. Collect the dark mongrel fur. Proficiency in potions. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. Oh, he wants me You're to steal! As I'd hoped. I simply need a whoop of feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. He wants me to steal a f I don't. I don't feel like I should steal for him. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Whoop of feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Why don't you just ask him then? Why are you trying to get me in trouble? No. I've enough to worry about collecting the ingredients he wants me to get. I'm afraid I can't help you. I understand. I'll sort something else out. Get get it yourself. I'm trying to pass with flying colors here, guys. Like I don't, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. Remember, 
precision is key when building. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> can I just steal things myself? The feather's there, look. Chat, shall I take it, yes or no? Do I take the feather? I'm going to wait and see what you say. <sighs> I mean, everyone's saying yes. If you get me in trouble, I swear to God. Should you chop the didney or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. That's got 30 second brewing time. And now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd. What's happening? Oh no, Wait, look what's happened. <laughs> Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. No. I brewed an Edoras potion as you asked, Professor. Glad you managed to stay on task. Not every class is so eventful. I saw Mr. Weasley speaking with you earlier. He can be quite persuasive. I mean, glad you managed to resist. I took it myself, You've dude. Done well today. I, I confess I was skeptical he doesn't know the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're he doesn't know I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations a rare occurrence and you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet in addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves pay particular attention in herbology the plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. And you can keep that fwopper feather. This time. Oh, he knows! How does he- all. How does he know? Ugh. Weasley! I think each of us has had enough excitement for one- I wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was I don't want it anymore! I better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion. That was an interesting class. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. But for certain, you'd have helped. <sighs> I mean, I'm just double lying now, aren't I? It did sound like fun. I shouldn't have been so concerned with getting in trouble. I think it's good to take risks every now and again, especially when it comes to potions class. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. I'm going to slip it in his locker. Then we'll see. Okay, so Natty wants to meet me. Where is she on the map? Oh, she's all the way out there. How do I get there? Wait, hang on. Should I go? I feel like I should go and get my... My potion that I... Made at the herbology class, right? It's here, isn't it? If I just follow that... Should be able to get to it. It should just be in that pot. Unless the game ruins me. Ugh. 
My robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration. Off on another adventure, are we? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What is this way? I think it's been five minutes. Had five minutes left on it, didn't it? It's in here. This pot here should have it. Yes. I don't know what that's for, but I'm sure we'll find out. How did I get it on PC early? The Warner Brothers gave me a code. Someone was asking in chat. This is the Steam version, not the Epic version. Rebellion. What happened to that guy? Did he get killed by the Wampin Willow? Oh, a mountain troll. It's for my healing potions. Okay. Weasley said she always found the dormitory a bit Okay, we're going off piste. You know, playing this game just makes me sad that Hogwarts isn't a real place. If I was a billionaire, I would just build this, like, one-to-one -one replica. And then I would hire actors to be professors, and then you could come and experience Hogwarts. And there'd be, like, rides and stuff and little attractions. Things that you can play with, like, escape rooms. You know? That's what I would do if I was a billionaire. There'd be none of this going to Mars. No, no. We don't need to go to Mars. We need to build Hogwarts for real. So I think, I mean, I should be getting my broomstick soon. I'd get around the copyright by... I'd strike a deal with Warner Brothers. But like, guys, come on, I got a billion. I want to build Hogwarts for real. And they'd be like, all right. Hang on. <laughs> Wait, can I do the chickens as well? Did I kill the goat? What is this? Rebellion. The groundskeeper's little shed. Dueling gloves. I don't think I should just be walking I into people's property. It. Here's Natty. It is good to see you, my friend. Good to see Hello, you too. Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there. 
and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Sorona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood. So he's a second-hand man. Surprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. So we've got to take out the guy with the hat. Revelio. What the hell's going on there? What's going on here? Wait, let me just let me just loot this first. Help the stranger. Who's that as well? I don't know who that is. They must have come this way. Think. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student, you can't be sick. <clears throat> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Oh, they want it. Oh, Dark Wizard. Let's go. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Ashwind Duelist. So this is more of a powerful wizard, a witch. Turn him into a chicken. That is a new one. I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. I am Harry Pogger. And I will protect you. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to... I mean, she wasn't much of a challenge. Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. 
Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. He's real. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. So, Merlin left little challenges around. I of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. A little puzzle. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious. Merlin's beard. You got set him on fire. The flames make the pyre sink. This one was easy. I suppose it is the first one, though. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure was and all mine. careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. I want to see what this uh, student wants here. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness, yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping Never heard of someone them. would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. No. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? 
We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Nearly Headless Nick, is it? There's something swimming around the water there. What is that? The hell? Levitate a dug bog by its tongue. Oh god. No! I can't use my wand when I'm in the water. You stay away from me. Get back, demon. Oh, he doesn't like that. He's just taking it. Can't pull him towards me. Maybe I'll get some Guardian Leviosa later on. I can use that on him. I mean, it feels a bit unnecessary that I just go kill wildlife. But there is a challenge. Look, dug bugs. Oh. What's that? Dice? Please? A tongue. That's horrible. Something here. Can I just pull that onto here? Can I set it on fire? Incendio. I wasn't expecting that to work, this but it did. It's dangerous if I'm not careful. I found a little cave chat. What's in here? There's a symbol there. Revelio. And the chest. Okay, there's definitely more to this, but I, I don't know if I can interact with that yet. Maybe I can do a spell in the future on it. Okay, so Nearly Headless Nick wanted to see me. Speak to Nearly Headless Nick. Where is he? I mean, he's floating around the map, isn't he? He's absolutely mad, lad. Oh, is it in the Grand Hall? I don't have any flu locations there to fast travel to. Unfortunately... But I could go here, maybe. Last trouble there. Who's upstairs? I'm gonna check out the new glasses. Yeah. 
15 defense on the gloves, okay. We've got new headwear. Yo. <laughs> the opulent spider's web hat. That's awesome. You're going to poke someone's eye with that. I'm not ready for that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm like that dog with the science set. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Shouldn't these students be in their dormitories? It's not safe to be around Hogwarts at night. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that fruit of feather. Whoa! Emotions. You see. I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Why does Gareth Fair just enough. love stealing? You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. He's a compulsive thief. He just can't help himself. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish. Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might... Uh... You wanted to see me, sir? Yes. Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. At your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. But this guy was played by John Wait, Cleese in the movies. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Why are you called nearly headless, Nick? This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Everyone always wants something, don't they? No one can just help you for the sake of it. A small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. That's disgusting. Why would you want... Pardon. Roast beef? Yeah. Rotten roast beef. Why would you want that? That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. It was Billy Connolly, yeah. Not John Cleese. Or was it... Did they both play him? Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Can't remember. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did tickle you say the pear. Tickle the pear. 
Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way. Revelio seems. Mm, I'm already imagining the aroma of rotten roast beef. This ghost is crazy. <gasps> A student elves. Students. What could they want? Delicious food and what found themselves. Where's Dobby? Likely. Give me that. You know how hungry. Obtain the roast beef. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Some Welsh rabbit. Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Can you get me a bacon and egg sandwich, please? Do you conjure the food here? That's interesting. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. So in the movie, when they have the, the banquet in the Great Hall, in the first film, Dumbledore just goes, ah, and then all the food appears on the table. Or maybe he teleports it from the kitchen where the elves make it. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Tell Dobby I'm after him. I presume that you know Dobby. Who knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet? It smells glorious in here. You think there's conspiracy theories about the elves and what they're doing down here? But I mean, the ways look. You can't be moving. You can't be moving like that. Doing some weird elf stuff. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf for Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Why can people not have normal names? Why isn't they just a Brian? Or a Sandra? They've all got triple barrel names. Do stay behind him. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably going to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be.
What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. Disgusting rotten roast beef. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> uh, sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you. If I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. So he can't talk to us because he doesn't have his head. I mean... Weep their heads while away the afterlife. It's a bit of an oversight, isn't it? If you're, if you're a ghost and you had your head chopped off, your gear slots are full. Complete Merlin challenges to increase your inventory size. Okay. So I suppose I could just... Can I destroy stuff then? Yeah? Get rid of those dragon glasses. Wizard's robes. Fingerless gloves. If the headsman could only see me now. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? It is I, Harry Pogger. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal. But if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once. But five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? You couldn't just give me if the that's head. That's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw. I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Begin! Cast away until you find him! It won't be long now. You'll find him. Is he in here? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Where are you going? I'm glad I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Revelio. Who would have thought him? 
Where is he? I could do that too if I had a wand. Rebellion. Yeah, the party. I will smash every pumpkin if I have to. Then I won't be the one to clean up this mess. Rebellion. Do that too if I had a wand. There's a blue one there. Is that? So you found us. This ain't over yet. I'm back with that head. Rebellion. You're right there, are you? This man thinks he's clever. It won't be long now. You will find him. It's kind of cheating, isn't it? The fact that I've got Re Revelio. Good job, I suppose. Revelio. We're not through with you. I think this is the last one. Never seen a place like that. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here. Hmm? You've earned it. He looks like the Weasley. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. I'm ready. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head. And I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the yes, forest? Yes, I like this. I'll show you where to go. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Chat, we are going into the Forbidden Forest. This excites me. On a deep emotional level. I'd say he's in over his head this time. Very funny. <laughs> the edge of the Forbidden Forest. Oh, I can learn Expelliarmus from Professor Hackett there. Okay. She wants me to avoid attacks by dodge rolling. Three out of ten. Okay. Is that it there? I need to learn the disarming charm before I can follow Richard Jackdaws. Okay, so I have to do that quest first then. So I've got to find three enemies to roll away from. How would I find enemies? Do I just go looking for them in random spots? The game said that there was camps and stuff. God, imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. There was a no entry sign there. Oh, 
we may find some baddies here. Hello. Oh, spiders. No, 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 no. Okay. Alright, that's it. You're the one who released Treadloom, aren't you? That was a mistake. Incendio. Incendio. Stupid. Levioso. Stupid. Incendio. Oh, uh huh. There's a lot of these spiders. This guy a body? He's gone. Can I just burn this down? She did say that I could. There you go. Look, you can use that spell to burn the spider webs down. Okay, so now I've got to go learn Expelliarmus, which is a. Disarming charm, I think, chat. Is that right? Last travel right there. He's a secret boss, really. Yeah, so the PC spec is an RTX 4090. And the CPU is at 13900K. Locked at 5.5 gigahertz on all cores. Uh, lots of people were asking in the chat. So it's pretty much as good as you can get at the moment. I did hear rumors that NVIDIA were going to release a 4090 Ti though, but I don't know how much of a performance gain that's going to have on the 4090. We'll see. You can advance time by accessing the map and pressing R3. I did not know that. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although. We got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Oh, uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were uh, students here together. He's the headmaster. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah, 
As you might suspect, <laughs> I cannot speak. Oh, come about on. We did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. I thought she was going to teach me... Santa run. That's a bit weird. Should have just kicked in there because it knew I was there. Show me the Expelliarmus. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yes. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spell casting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. What I'm talking about, Expelliarmus. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Quite a powerful spell, that one. Expelliarmus disarms wands or other weapons out of enemies' hands. Different types of enemies will react different ways when disarmed. Expelliarmus, you seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Uh, Expelliarmus, Potter. Potter. All right, we get to go to the Forbidden Forest now. See that cat? That was good. Mmm, Potter. Off on another adventure, are we? I can't wait till I get my broomstick. It must be soon. It's got to be after this quest or something. Out of the way, guinea fowl. Oh, you want some? Ah! I regret my decision. Oh, they're tough little... Quite tanky, you know? Something's got into them. Hey, you want some, lads? You want some? You want some of this? I want a more long range spell for the fire. Oh. 
Loot this stuff here. Revelio. Like, if you want to use that incendio, you really got to pull them towards you first, and they've got to be close to you. Swimming in galleons. Dual, yeah, I'm using the PS5 controller, Mark. On PC. You just plug it in. I think you can use an Xbox controller yeah, as well if you want. As good as my word. I've not tried it with mouse and key, but I feel like this game is built for controller, right? We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. Intramuros. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Aside from the birdbath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's French. Nothing to do now but keep going. Keep calm and carry on, Harry Pogger. You can do it, just believe in yourself. What the? There's some centaurs down there. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. This is spooky. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Expecto Patronus! It's Harry's. Patronus, isn't it, Stag? There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Revelio. Intramuros. You a little far from oh, us. goblin! Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Yeah, I'm gonna try my cabbages. You're Cabbage. So <laughs> no risk those loyalists will report back to Renrock now. Yeah, because we just murdered them, Harry. They're all dead. We just killed those goblins. Deal with it. Those chomping cabbages, man, they're great. Do I have any other buffs? I've got this one here. We crafted this, didn't we? Defense potion.
Hello. It's just me, Harry Potter. Nice to meet you. There's some spiders here. I don't like that. That's a bit like God of War. Symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. three before they turn out to me. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Do the dual sense features work on PC? I don't have them on. I don't think so. Like, I can't feel any dual sense features at the moment. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Let me see if there's an option for it. Just to check for you guys. No, it doesn't look like it. It's probably a PlayStation exclusive thing because I think they've got the marketing rights for this game. Maybe that's why you can't do it on PC, or perhaps it's in another section there. Okay. Where are you going? Oh no. Whoa. There was a big chest there. Look at that. Oh my god. Is this an optional room? Yeah. I'm not gonna touch those. Ugh. Get wrecked. Okay, dealt with them. What's in the box? Boy. Oh, we got some legendary gloves. Okay, I imagine the stats on those are going to be good. 26 offense. Don't mind if I do. Might as well destroy those. I got a purple, I didn't even realize. So you can transmog stuff. So I'm still wearing the hat, but it's not on my character, you see? Cool. Is the combat fun? Yeah, it's really fun. We go down deeper into the dungeon. Oh, what is that? If I could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. 
I feel like that's the way forward. So I'm just going to check what's over here first. I don't want to miss any chests. Well, maybe not. Have a look. Nevada Kadava is in the list of spells, guys. Someone just asked in the chat. But I don't have it yet. Oh, they don't like being set on fire. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. Accio. Can I Accio? Yeah, I can Accio myself to that. Oh, what is this? An untouched chest. Tactor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Got snakes on it. I feel like this is one of those things where you have to come back. Maybe I'll learn parcel tongue at some point and I can speak and it'll open a secret door or something. Have I got ray tracing on? Yeah, yeah, everything's on ultra. It's maxed out. Yeah, this is as good as the game looks. Oh, there's one there. Symbol is hidden somewhere. Was it a dragon egg? Kill them! I mean, I don't have to, but... You know, I am a dark wizard, so... I like a... I should. Is this a demo for the full game? No, this is the full game here, man. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? We've got to find his body. That's fine, Harry Pogger. You can do that. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. And pull myself to her. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. I'm looking for that good gear. I want the legendary stuff or purple. Burn that down. That's odd. 
I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's mm. no sign of him. You just destroy them before they hatch. When you set them on fire and they start running around like crazy, if you hit them, they appear to explode. Or it looks like that's what happened then. Trying to get through that. I think it was just for that chest. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Akio. This way. Yeah, they do. They explode. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, didn't dodge that one. You don't get a warning when they bury under the ground like that. They just pop out. It's like a dance, isn't it? The one combat. I think they've done that very well, the way that it flows together. It's quite seamless, all the different spells and then the basic attacks that you can do. Quite impressive. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Akio. I can go all the way over there? What? Whee! gold leaf stuff i'm guessing at some point i'll get a spell to break that wall you know this game is reminding me of it's reminding me of jedi fallen order in a good way It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what they're headed with Jack.
Accio. Expel the armors. Okay, that's a big one. Okay, you can't Levioso those. Throw out some cabbages. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied Jesus. since Jackdaw came this way. There was three of those last time. There's one down here. Touched chest. I need to look around for the symbol. Can I get that one there? Okay. Oh, baby. I must be getting closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. There's the body. We meet again, Richard Jack Daw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jack Daw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? There's some bodies. Can I disarm him? I mean, there's three big ones there. Ow. Can't block or parry that. You just got to move out of the way. These ones are bigger than usual. Yeah. Chomp and cabbage. Cabbage. Expel the armors. Well, goodbye. Accio. Okay, Akio doesn't work. Expel the armors. Expel the armisters. Burn just like the rest of them. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before in the Green Gods and the restricted section. More dark magic. We're going through. Starting to flood. Ah. 
How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Someone put a bubble around us. The ancient ways. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? That's the guy we saw in the cutscene. First of all, Rackham. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Talents. Your connection to the ancient magic has unlocked talents. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You can spend them as you wish. Talents point. Okay, so you can only do them once. And the number of talents you require will be limited. So we've got spells, dark arts, core, stealth, room of requirement. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on the enemies. Cursed enemies taking... Oh, these, okay, this is awesome. These are like modifiers to your gameplay. Casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flame around you. Yes, okay. Why wouldn't I want that? Enemies near a target summoned by Akio are also pulled towards you. I feel like, as I'm a dark wizard, you know, I want to... I want to go down this kind of route, right? Level 22 is the last one. Core. Cool. So health potions do more healing. Unlock spell set. Yeah, I want that. Holding down dodge allows you to vanish quickly and reappear nearby. That's cool. That's quite a good one to have. Okay, so that's six. The stealth as well. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint. So what's like the last ones on the dark arts? Can I see them? Killing an enemy with a Vada Kedavra kills all cursed enemies. <laughs> Defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health, so it's like a life steal kind of thing. 
Stupefy deals direct. This is insane, man. Room of requirement as well. Sweet. What's this down here? Locked. I just want all the dark power. I want all the unforgivable I curses. The map chamber. Why would I need the book? How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. That was a cool quest. Oh, dragon. Revelio. Guys, do you think I just had a thought. What if you can ride dragons and do dragon combat in this game? I know that dragons are in it because they were at the preview event that I went to. The Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. The Pulso. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. What does he want me to do? Flying class. Yes. Yes. Finally. We're going to be zooming around on a broom. Can I get my Nimbus 2000? I have to do it in the day. Are you eating flowers? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Up. Oh, baby. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. 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 The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's what? see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, Step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Yeah, you're right, chat. It would be a Nimbus 1880, up. wouldn't it? Thank you. Now, your turn. That's adorable. Up. You said up. thank you to the oh, broom. You stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, 
ground yourself at once. Oh, snap. Now, for your first lesson, yes. fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. Ah, the brooms ah, are school I think property. I'm getting the hang of this. I want them returned in one piece. No, I'm going to crash it. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? No. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Well, I can go faster. What a view. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. Hello, Everett. Yes, ah, it is indeed. Good. I've got this. Oh, That's the boathouse. Boat Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Nasty stuff goes down in the boathouse. You don't ever want to go there. Uh, what the Kraken? Was that a Kraken? Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Enjoy this music. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Of course. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> Almost flew into the wall there. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. I've got a boost. Yes. Uh -huh. Now that's more like it. Speed boost. Famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. Isn't it just the, the wooden structure That's holding it up? Solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. It's the Alry. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. But I want to play Quidditch. He's so rapid. I want to be that first. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. No. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom, the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. 
Sorry, miss. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. She's giving me mixed messages. A few student. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Have I got enough stones though? To buy a broom. You wanna watch out, mate? I'll be weak there you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark uh, hello. classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Hmm. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. What distractions? In the shadow... Confringo. Confringo is like a shotgun, isn't it? Professor Sharp's assignment. Acquire and use a focus potion. Use them simultaneously. The room of requirement. We go check that out. Quite a big deal, isn't it? The room of requirement. It didn't bother me. I swear. Good. I'm sure they likely hadn't heard the house call. Based on what I saw in the trailers, I think you can customize it. Levioso. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. There it is. stopped me and I Merlin's beard I see you've wasted no time well done shall we after you professor What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. I can walk around it. Primarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. 
The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to Wake me up. certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, a new spell. Evanescence. Okay, wake up. Okay. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Now, because I unlocked that tray, I actually have a second set. Look at that. How cool is that? That one. Sign top. And also do like that, that, and that. So now I've got all eight spells accessible to me. How do I? There we go. Excellent work. Whoa. You will note that you are now in possession. You okay, Miss Weasley? We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Got a moonstone. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Careful with that thing. I like the soundtrack. It's very good. Accio. Well, what am I going to need that for? Just jumping over, maybe. It's Assassin's Creed then. Whee! You can just vanish all your problems this away. As precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. No, dude. Kind of feel bad for him. Can I repair him? Repair it. No, I'm not an intruder. That's the guy from There Will Be Blood. And I drink your milkshake. I'm finished. It offended the room, thought I needed a bath. I need some of that underarm spray, my friend. Oh. Is that a Death Eater mask? How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? 
Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Accio. Are you being cheeky with me painting? Because, you know, I could just do this. Choose your words wisely painting. So how am I going to get in there? Incendio. Can I bring that one through then climb up it? Accio. Would appear not. Can I levy over it? I don't know. I can just kind of pull it around as well. No, I can't get under it. Use a tractor beam. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's gone crazy. <laughs> I'm on an invisible wall. I think I'm breaking the game. I'm scared. I'm sorry. I'll come back to that one. I hope that house elf can find us in here. This is so awesome. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. 
most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Bugatti. Close your eyes. Bugatti. Imagine the room precisely Bugatti. as you need it. The room will do the rest. Wow. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. No, I'll just put anything on. I'll wear any old tat. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. My lady. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. A conjuring spell? Intriguing. This is a loopy loop. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. New spell unlock. Conjure a potting table. Conjure a potion station. Is it this one? No, we don't have that one. It's this one. Oh. I can just put this wherever I want. Gothic.
Put it there. It's The Sims now. The color? Where should we put it, chat? Over here? I've reached my budget for it. Okay. I don't want to put it in front of that. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Who is Deke? Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to interfere. Oh, they use a firewall. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. So I can just build a base here essentially and have it as a place where I can make all my stuff. I need Mallow Sweet for the Merlin's quest, don't I? I'm going to have to get those Ashwind eggs and mongrel fur. Yeah, I think I need some of that. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough. And we shall begin the lesson. Interior decorating. <laughs> this one sounds fun. Get the pulso, which is the push. Sebastian. He seems a bit like Snape in a lot of ways. Mm, Over here. Sebastian. It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. 
I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Take me there, Sebastian. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I'm not seeing it then. Ah. Bendercroft. This game reminds me of Bully, yeah. Similar vibes. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named Revelio. me Revelio. We used to play Godstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. I'm beginning to question if his sister's even real. I've got to destroy some of this gear. I suppose I could sell it though. Get some gillions or whatever. That's cool. Nice scarf. Can't wear that yet. Gotta be level 13 for that one. He never confides in anyone. Revelio, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I'm sure I recognize that guy's voice. I feel like I've seen him in a TV show recently. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. That this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. Uh oh. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide. Oh, they don't like the, the mudbloods, the do they? Tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. I think it sounds awesome. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. Exactly, Harry Potter. Exactly. Yes. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Please do. It may take a while to get the feel for it. No. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. To Z. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the target. 
or a Z, depending on your proclivity. I mean, it looks awesome. Lo yes, long range. That's what I wanted for fire. If I can put that... I don't really use Illumos that much. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like... Confringo! Nice work. Oh, it's a sniper. How does it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've well got it done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day... There's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. Do it. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well... It's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. I tell him? You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. That's right. fair. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Oh. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I feel like Sebastian is leading me down a dark path here. Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Oh, he's blind. Did you come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. 
and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Calm down. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. See if I care. Level 12. Oh, just a broom. Should we go buy a broom, chat? There's a flu foam right there. Give me some of that Nimbus. That Nimbus technology. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? If I thought I could compete this throne. If I thought I could compete with Ah, new face. Wonderful. Alright, mate, it's Albi Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albi Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes, so I am. Weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Show me your wares, eh? Teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. She wants to teach me Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa. I presume I'm not wearing any of these. Nice doing business with you. Nice doing business with you, mate. He sounds like... What's his face from Mary Poppins? I'll sell my Peaky Blinders cap. Boy, order the Peaky Blinders. Which one do I like? That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. I mean, it's got flames on it. Surely that means it goes faster. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Cheers, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Oh yeah, why wouldn't I want to upgrade my broom? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. 
The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Sort you out. Once you've been the <laughs> time, be sure to let me know. I'm just going to steal from you, right in front of you. That's fine, is it? Yeah, well, what's in this giant chest here? Yep, yeah, and take that. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Rebellion. Oh, so can I just like... I can't use it here. Got to go to the Quidditch pitch. Yes, guys, look at my broom. Let's go. Hey, you, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't sure. He was giving me a tour. Tell that's the rest of the school, but it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps wow. I want competition. Yeah, you're done right. Even Slytherin could be a useless squib for all I know. Oh, she's Enough horrible. This. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can. Beat oh, I can it. beat you easily. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. I completed Diddy Kong Racing, so I can do Actually, anything. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Now, Whizpig was like a really difficult boss in that game. Right then. Let's do it. Do I have to fly through the rings? Did it. Uh, skip. Why did I slow down? Okay, it's a bit more difficult than I anticipated. Success. I want a bit more maneuverability, you know? I need to be more pog. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> now that's more like it. Made it. Imagine the amount of challenges in this game. I bet there's loads of these time trials. Brilliant. <laughs> this is rather fun. Suck it. I like them apples, Enelda. If that is even your real name. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, fine. You won. No cheats. 
don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. <laughs> I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone you. else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albi Weeks. I will 1v1 you at some point. Okay? That's a warning. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I think she's down for a scrap. Oh, you're back. We've oh, mate, it's me again. <laughs> yeah. Set a record, Mr. didn't Wins, I? I was able to set a record on my broom. But it's super Incredible. fast. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? It's a bloody great, mate. And it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Cheers, mate. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? I think you need more thermal grease on the compactor at the front. Right, now, Miss Weasley wanted me. Oh, pr Professor Fig's back as well? Oh no, it was Miss Garley. Wingardium Leviosa. I'm gonna go see Fig. See what he has to say. Show him the pages. No, there's no PvP in this, unfortunately. I think it'd be cool. You guys remember the Jedi Knight games? Like, dueling. 1v1 duels would be cool in this. Or co-op, at least. You know, co-op would be fun. Just single player for now. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons, wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> That must have been interesting to say yes. that. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. 
Are taking me straight there. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. A huge room. Looks like a boss arena. This looks promising. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful, dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. 
you will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. That's me. Shall we have a look? You're on your own, Harry Pogger. I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. Is it the Alta. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. The Transformer. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. This is cool. That's the tower we've got to get to. If there's going to be sort of, like some sort of massive boss fight in here, they should only look at it. Oh wait, I've not been there. I just lied to him. I'm sorry for lying to you, Professor Fig. Please don't expel me. I will Crucio you if you do. It's time you learn the glaciers, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. You've done that? Come and see me. The freezing spell? Can I go above the trees? The thing that I really like about this game is that it doesn't restrict you in many ways, or it hasn't so far at least. Kind of ask the question, what if the player wants to do this? What if they want to do that? What's that down there? Is there going to be combat on the broom as well? Throw out some spells on the on the old broomstick. What are you up to now? Nothing. Over here. I'm going to romance Fig. Jaden, I don't think you can romance anyone in this game. Maybe you can, who we knows? Alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we apparate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No oh, you want to go in invisible. Our arrival. I've got it on my second set. No, I'm going to put that one. Um. There, maybe. And then I can put Levios, uh, the bottom there.
I want anything else at the moment? Uh, no, I'm happy with that. Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. You have to learn to share. Quickly now. Reaching an enemy undetected allows you to cast Petrificus Totalis. Oh, so I didn't have to learn that. I thought I would have had to learn that spell. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalis. Totalis. Well done. Oh, they can see you though when you're in stealth. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. This happens to Neville, doesn't it? Oh, Hermione does it to him. A mushroom stew. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Petrificus Totalus. To try and take all these goblins out. Kind of OP just being invisible. This guy gonna notice? Why is a grapple on you are? Petrificus Totalis. There's two more over there. I'm getting all the XP here. Loving this chat. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? I will draw blood. Oh, you can just see me, can you? Oh, that's painful. Just turned into a giant goblin. And try this one out. Oh yes, that's that new talent that I got. When I do Incendio, it does a big ring of fire around me. So cool. It is quite brutal, isn't it? It's more than mere coincidence that we encountered Ranrock's loyalists here. Revelio. Give me this stuff. I'd wager this match is a fault of time. A seat. Is Fig just dancing? I wasn't looking Looks at him. Like we found the entrance. It's locked. Hello, Hamora. Not no, locked I'm anymore. Rebellion. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. I mean, there's many locked rooms that I would love to get in. And check out some of this new gear. I got a new hat. Oh, it's a cowboy hat. That's cool. Yeah, 
Harry Potter goes to the West. 29. I mean, that's just pajamas. Imagine being killed by a wizard in pajamas. How embarrassing. Look at that. Oh. Looking good, Harry. Oh. Okay, so I've got to take that to the room of requirement and then I can figure out what it is. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen an enchantment last this long. It's powerful Welcome magic. To Sandakar's tower. Oh, hello. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sam Bacar's tower? I did. Looking fresh. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough but if they have also made a connection to this tower then the threat may be greater than i thought all the more reason for us to move forward downstairs near the entry a reservoir of ancient magic like those you've seen before has been unlocked commanded to access a doorway i'm afraid i cannot say more as professor fig cannot join you he and i will in time see you back at the map chamber Remember what you see. Remember what We're you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir, you say? A reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry. Revelio. There it is. first trial oh i like the sound of this i've seen this before in gringotts and the restricted section I can hear things moving. Impressive. That must have done something. Best have a look around. Just created a giant pathway. I must have so much money now. I don't think I've even spent any of these galleons. Whoa. That is weird. That just gave me a bit of motion sickness. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different.
change the entrance. Do you want to scrap? These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. You want to scrap? Protego! Stupefy! Confringo! Expelliarmus! Accio! Stupefy! Stupefy! Get the big guy first. Expelliarmus! Ow! Expelliarmus! Stupefy! This gold thing again. I feel like I'm going to learn something in the future that will let me go through those. What have the keepers planned for me? I mean, that looks dodgy. Like, okay. I mean, that felt like it was going to fall down, didn't it? It really did. <laughs> Can't use those. These look familiar. Accio. Where can I pull this to? Over there. And here whispers chat. What does it mean? Am I Slytherin? Be honest. No, I'm Gryffindor. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out what that is back at the room of requirement. Very intuitive. What did that? More statues. Have an egg. Uh, okay. I just use his own weapon and cut his head off. Expelliarmus. Accio. Confringo. Incendio. Not making this easy on me. That was incredible. I use it's more of this gold stuff. Metroidvania. You want me to go over there, yeah. But I don't need... I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic. But where? I don't need that for now. Rebellion.
Mario Kart vibes. I don't know how you're getting Mario Kart vibes from this. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck. Come on, Harry Potter, use all your strength. Hmm. Rebellion. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be done. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Interesting. It deleted the bridge, didn't it? Accio. See how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. So now I've got that on that side. It's fine. I think it should stay there. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Now I can get up. I... Excuse me, sir. That's a cool little puzzle. I like that. Yeah, they're very odd. It's definitely giving me a bit of motion sickness, that. Watch out. Expel the armors. 
Love that animation. Super cool. Should have thrown more eggs at them. Can I make that jump? What? There was a, I swear there was a floor there? What the hell? Maybe I did that a bit too early. Yeah, so we can't go through there. What if I kind of leave it in the middle? Like that? That worked. Health potions. That's never a good sign, is it? You hear those bats? Oh my god. What the hell? Hello. I don't like the look of this. Egg. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Confringo. Accio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Protego. Stupid one. Did he just kill his mate then? Here's the real boss. This is what we wanted. Uh, what the hell? Can I Leviosa that? Yes. I don't like this guy. I 
back here doesn't do anything. Okay, so I might as well put that on the same spells then. If I'm going to need it that often. Put it there. Is he powering up? What's he doing? That's a purple one. That'll do it, I think. I put it there. I could have parried that. That was my first boss of the game. First trial. It does kind of sound like a T-Rex. God, is it going to fall? Don't fall. Oh my goodness. The big man. Rebellion. Another pensive. We've got quite a few unidentified items now. What do you think of my drip, old wizard? You like that? He'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago, but the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. 
Oh, Miss Morgana. Welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Plot thickens. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Pig's still here. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. You look familiar, sir. I imagine you saw me in the first pensive you accessed, in Gringotts. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Um, uh, before you go... Oh, yes. I mean, Rockwood, Rockwood could be the goblin. Wouldn't it be a bit obvious, though? Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Achievement unlocked. That's a keeper. Oh, we got our first seasonal change here. So the game started in spring summer, and now it's autumn. Or fall. As the Americans amongst us call it. Level 13. Right, guys, I am going to leave it there for today. 
thank you so much for watching thank you for all of the new memberships and donations I super chats at the three very kind of you news. i'll be i'm gonna cut you off mate if you enjoyed the stream if you watched it as a video do consider hitting the like button below if you're new around here subscribe we just hit four million subscribers which uh i'm just that is crazy absolutely crazy number but i appreciate you all being here uh once again we we are playing the pc version today on steam a lot of people were asking in terms of performance i feel like i was getting about 80 to 100 fps got it all maxed out as well with ray tracing on and all that good stuff look out for more stop by the shop when you can and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I hope you will come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other.